Hi guys, my name is Arman and in this video I want to talk about how you could improve your presentation skills. Despite knowing the importance of having adept presentation skills, many of us struggle to overcome nervousness and individual weaknesses in order to deliver effective presentations. The first step in overcoming your weaknesses is to determine what those weaknesses are. You could practice in front of friends and family and have them provide feedback or you could record yourself giving the presentation as if you're giving it to an actual audience. Afterwards, look at that footage and determine if that is something you would watch if you weren't the person speaking. What are you doing wrong? Is it lack of eye contact? Is it nervous body language? Determine what you're doing wrong. Now that you've determined what you're doing wrong, it's time to start improving. Lack of eye contact may be at the top of your list. It was at the top of my list. It's easy to say I'm going to make eye contact, but once you go up in front of an audience, whether it's a class or an event, it's very hard to make eye contact. Start by identifying a friendly face in the audience and make eye contact with that person. It's someone who's attentively listening to your presentation and someone who has a calming face. In a class presentation, that might be a teacher or a friend. No, it's not always the teacher. Sometimes you know that the teacher is grading you while you're speaking, so in that case, you might want to look at a friend. And after that, as you feel a little bit more comfortable, actively scan the room and make eye contact with other audience members. Along with eye contact, body language is also very important. You don't want to have hands in your pockets and jingle keys or whatever. Rather, you want to incorporate hand gestures into your presentation. Now let's talk about visual aids. One of the most commonly used visual aids is PowerPoint. Sometimes I see classmates or other presenters reading from slides word for word. Even worse, sometimes with their backs turned toward the audience. If I could go up there and read from slides, you could just take the copy of my slides and know exactly what the presentation is about. Rather, what you want to do is have key points on the slides and elaborate while you speak. Look at the audience, not the slides. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is continuously practice your presentation, whether you're practicing in front of a friend, family member, or the camera. Practice and constantly find areas of improvement. With practice, you'll incrementally improve. Last, but definitely not least, be comfortable with who you are. You have important things to say, and there are people willing to and wanting to hear what you want to say. So don't hesitate to go up in front of an audience and give your presentation. If you have any tips that I missed, comment below. If you haven't already, subscribe. Found this video helpful? Like the video and share it with someone who might benefit. Until next time, take care guys.